Hi everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Gwen and today we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Last time we uh, we came here into this shipwreck, uh, this very deep ship, honestly, it went kind of underground, it was kind of uh, absurd. Uh, but we we hopefully, well actually no, we, we're not hopefully, we did set the spirit of whatever the guy's name was. Uh, my bad, hold on, hold on, ah uh, crap. Um, Grantham, Grant, Gr Grantham. I, I, uh, Blakely? That, there we go, I remembered. Uh, we ha- we set his uh, soul to rest and he gave us a treasure map! And so, now, we, uh, we wanna go ahead and, uh... You know, we wanna find that treasure! Treasure, treasure's good, I like treasure! You like treasure? I think we all like treasure. Uh, but first, I've decided that I am going to, uh, go to the nearest town and, uh, sell this sword I picked up. Uh, as well as, uh, do a little bit of restocking, uh, of- of things. Um, before we, uh, we get going on that, um, on that, that, that little treasure hunt. And I kind of want to see if I can find the treasure without using the quest marker. Uh, because we were given an actual treasure map with the, an actual, um, like, actual directions on it. Let, oh, actually, let me see. Yeah, there it is. Grantham Blakely's map. So, here's where the ship crashed. Somewhere around here. And it's somewhere underwater here. And if we look at our map, we can see roughly where that would be. So I'm like, I, I want to see if I can work it out. I want to see if I can work it out. Uh, but first, but first, like I said, um, back to society so I can offload some of this crap. Um, and uh, yeah, that, 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 that's what I'm doing right now. And actually, am I in... Uh, I am in previously explored territory, and uh, I will say, as uh, as I have done uh, in in Morrowind, and uh, what I uh, plan to continue doing it here, um, since it is a, a territory, if it is a a part of the land that you have seen before, I'm going to skip over it. So I'll see you in a bit. Ah, uh, yay, Foggy! You know, it's funny. It's like, I love the two- Oh no, come back, Fog! It got really foggy for a second, and then it went away. I love the two extremes. I love- Yes, that ground looks very suspicious. Okay. Uh, it's like, I love the two extremes. You know what? Actually, no. Let's deal with this guy. Let's deal with him. Uh, because I want to build up my marksman skills. Uh, and we did f steal ourselves some arrows, so let's use them arrows with our glass bow. I don't even know if I looked at this yet. Well, there we go. There's a glass bow. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's utilize a, um, a poison of some sort. Uh, damage health. Yeah, there we go. Wait, okay, I've got to see if the guy will attack me first. Yes. You know, it makes it makes me really crappy um, as a uh, uh, for backstabbing and stuff on account of um, <laughs> I have to be able to verify if uh, my target is actually uh, a danger to me. A glass warhammer, that one is worth so much, and I think I'm going to take it. I mean, we're on our way to town, anyways. We might as well. Um, we might as well. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to boost our strength, and that's right, and use ease burden. Actually, don't I have a better one? I um I th no, I I I think I was thinking about getting one, but I didn't. All right, come. It's still not enough. How over? Uh, darn it! So I boosted my strength, and I used ease burden. It's still not enough. Do I have any potions to, like, fortify strength or something? See, here's here's my problem with, with some of these, where it says damage intelligence. The damage effects in this game are permanent. I would need to restore my, my intelligence afterwards. Right? Like, draining is one thing, but damaging is another. So, like, in this game here, Skuma actually like literally causes brain damage uh, so I don't I don't want that um, 
I would love... Wait, fortify strength. <gasps> Arrow root. You know what this means. It's potion making time. Why? Because I am not putting this crap down. All right, we're gonna fortify our strength somehow. Do we have something that will fortify strength? <gasps> Elf cup cap. Fortify strength, 16 points. Will you be enough? Let's see, uh, we have garlic. Yes! More fortify strength. I mean, they, they, they'll, they'll have uh, a use even beyond, um, e even beyond this little thing. Like, I'll be, uh, using, uh, fortify strength to increase my damage, right? So might as well. Ogre's teeth. Those are heavy as, as it is. Alchemy skill increased. All right. Let's see. Uh, fortify strength. Yes! We've done it! Go! Go! Put the weapon away so you can run faster. Gotta make the most of this. <laughs> Alright. We've got, uh, a great big hammer on us. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably drink all of those potions before this is, uh, this is, uh, done. Um, do I, do I, do I take a shortcut across? Yeah, let's take a shortcut across. Let's just not have the potion effect, uh, wear out, wear off. Actually, wait, where is the potion effect? I can't tell which one is like my, my regular spell effect and which one is uh uh wait is this the ones that are current effect? Yeah, fortify strength. So we've got po a potion and spell. It's not telling me um which is which. Oh, hello, random chest. Sweet, we're finding all kinds of treasure. All right, so we're uh. We're at Bravel. Uh, I just gotta get in the gate so I can get to a shop before they all close so I can sell my things. Now, like, I, I've been sort of averse to, uh, to just resting to wait and stuff, but it just occurred to me, I'm like, no, I've got a little bit more incentive now to not just waste time. No, 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 uh, potion probably wore off. That's, that's, okay, it's okay, it's okay, calm down, calm down. Um, actually, I need to make sure. I need to make sure. Um, fortify strength. So it's the potion that we're off. Fortify strength again. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Because I uh, they're both under the same icon, and I know my spell is going to wear off. Oh, there's a spriggin' up ahead. I don't have time for this crap. All right. Um, we're going to sneak by. We're going to try to sneak by. Just in case I get into the fight. Nope, it's coming for me. It's coming for me. You know, this is like one of those only times where I'm like, guards, save me. I'm on a time crunch. I don't have time for this. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. Guard, there's a spriggin' and a bear. He's all, she's all yours. They, they are, they are both all yours. Have fun. Go. All right. We're in Bravil. <laughs> all right. I need to find me a, a blacksmith or something. Um, local map. I have no idea where. I I'm guessing maybe the Fighters Guild would have a, a, a have a place, but or like the Fair Deal. But that's like a general store, right? There's, there is there a blacksmith in Bravel? Huh. I'm going to assume that um, huh, that 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 the Fighters Guild is probably the closest I'm going to get. Greetings, apprentice. I, the Fighters Guild's got to have somebody, right? That'll that'll want that. Hi. Swift hunting. Uh, I think all. No. Bro Galash cares. Okay. Um, you. You you you're behind a desk. What is it? We're looking for recruits. Interested? No. I just. Good day. Good day. You. You're not afraid of trouble, are you? You'd like the Fighters Guild. Maybe. There we go. If you want my help, you'll need to join no! up. Fighters Guild members only. <laughs> so I'm like, do I just join for the sake of, uh... Being able to sell things? Uh... I guess I could join. Like, there's no, there's no downside to joining, right? It's not like, um... Like in Morrowind, you'd have, like, faction, um... Relationship changes uh, based on like what factions you're in and stuff. 
That's not a, it's not a, it's not a concern in Oblivion. Um, you know what? I I, I could see Alexis just being like, yeah, sure, I'll join. Can you just buy my stuff? <laughs> sure. You know, we're we're quote unquote, you know, <laughs> finger quotes joining the Fighters Guild. Uh, sure. Yeah, let me join. If you're interested, see Valena Dantan in Coro, or Azan in Anvil, or Burz Grokash in Chadenhall. No! No, I don't want the quest added! I just wanted to- Darn, I just need to- Goodbye. Well met. Heard any new- Alright, um... You! Does anyone see City Swimmer? Is he gliding beneath the silver water? Is he creeping round a corner, hugging a wall, silent as a shadow in the dark? No, I am here. I stand proud before you, city swimmer, trainer of the prospective sneaker, the sly sliding unseen. Okay, city swimmer said he, but the text says she. I'm confused. I don't know which, whatever. I just need, um, Bravil. Tell me, tell me what Bravil has, because I, I see there's, there's a, a wizard shop over there. But I need, I need, um, the other kind of shop. <laughs> the other kind, yes. What? You have not eyes to see? The castle, of course. The only challenge worthy of a swift sneaker. I get that. Okay. Guard. Good day. Guard. All right, fair deal. Fair deal. Let's just go. Hi. You'll always get a fair deal here. I'm Nellowin. What can I get you? All right. Um. First things first. We gotta become For you, of course. Best friends. We are already best friends. I guess. Like, I've just got that. I've got. I got one of them faces. Like that perfect. I've got that personality. Everyone's like, yeah, we love you. Yeah. Woo. -woo. Um. Captivate. Okay, that's charm. Ten points. Do I have a, a better one? I'm pretty sure I got a better one. Yeah. Alluring gaze is twelve. So let's go with alluring gaze. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You Hi. Always... All right. May I interest you in some of my? Let's uh, let's let's go for like sixty. I don't think I can do sixty, but let's try it anyways. Uh, I need to sell. You've got eight hundred. Oh, you're not gonna be able to give me everything I want. All right, Elvin Short Sword. Yes. And then the glass warhammer. The most you'll give me is eight hundred. I guess I'll take it. Um, all right, cool. Uh, Ebony Short Sword. Do I still want this Ebony Short Sword on me? Like, what, okay, what am I using right now? Ebony, Ebony Short Sword is 12. I can just use the Blackwater Blade, um, for most fights. Even though I, 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 I like having a non-enchanted item, but I feel like you use, you use an enchanted item long enough, it just becomes a non-enchanted item, so. Like, I've got Toast Knife. I guess that's kind of like my average thing. And I've got my fists, so I guess I can get rid of the Ebony Short Sword. As much as I don't want to. What? The, the, mmm. Yep, we're doing it. Ah, I committed to it. Ah, I did it, 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 I did it. Um, all right. Uh, is there anything else I can sell? I'm like, like, I don't need these, these rings. Right, I, like, oh, a mithril shield. That's right, I have a light shield. But I also have a heavy shield. Because, reasons. All right, let's get rid of the light shield. I think the only reason my or Orca shield has lower ar uh, armor is because uh, it's a bit more damaged and my skill is not as high in it. So uh, let's get rid of the Mithril shield for now. Mercantile, yes. Uh, jeweled amulet, sure. I'm like I'm sure there's something I could idea. do with enchantment and stuff, but um, I don't have an enchanting skill, and uh, I'm just I I'm sure I'll come across more stuff um, as the game goes on. So. I'm like, eh, I can get rid of this for now. Okay, I've got three blades on me and a uh, a bow and a staff. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I am plenty good. Oh yeah, the, uh, the Welkin stones. I mean, I could. I could get rid of these. Like they restore my my magic, but I feel like I've got potions to do that. Sure. Now, if they enchanted, if they 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 recharge like enchanted items, then I'd be like, yeah. But no. Okay, I'll, I'll take the money. We're up over 5,000. I could go get that uh, house in, um, uh, what was it, uh, Anvil? 
I could do that. I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to go ahead and grab a house, but... Uh, a robe of creativity. I could also buy soul gems. I don't know if I want to buy... Oh, this one already has... Oh, they, they already have souls in them. Interesting. So, yeah, she carries a, a lot of just general things. Um, steel arrows and iron arrows, they do the same amount of damage, but one's more expensive. Okay, I'll take your iron arrows, because they're cheaper, um, but you only have 20 of them, so I'm going to have to buy some steel arrows as well. I hard... uh, like 100 of them, sure. There we go, now we're under 5,000 again. Darn it! A pleasure to serve you. Alright, sweet, we, we offloaded some things. Uh, I need uh, a repair hammer. Dang you. I should have a checked this. To... What can I interest? I don't in? think you sold repair hammers. You do sell repair hammers. Okay, give me a second. All right, used up my repair hammers. Good day. Oh, I basically repaired everything I could. Let's do um, this. I think I just hit my microphone. Sorry if there's a boomp sound. Uh, let's buy me some repair hammers. Let's buy ten of them. All right, we're good. We are ready for adventure once more. Uh, 85 lockpicks. Well. I think we're good for now. I don't think I need more than that. All right. Um, now, you know what? It's night. It's getting nighttime. It's time for us to fly by night uh, to get to the Imperial City and um, deliver that bust. Let's cash in that quest before we go treasure hunting. Uh, did you deal with that Spriggan? What is it? <laughs> He's like, what? No. I'm like, what? Where, where to go? Like a bear just jumps out from the bush and mauls me. I'm like, darn it, no! Don't put off your problems. They will come back to bite you. Alright, I'm gonna run on up to uh, the Imperial City so that I can... Um, you know. Do what I just said I was gonna do. Uh, I think... Uh, if you guys could, like, remind me to go get a better light spell next time I'm- I think- I think it's in Bravel, right? Yeah, well, Oh, crap! <laughs> no, that's not what I was trying to do. I was- wasn't trying to light you- Oh, crud. Alright, let's, uh... I'm low on magic because I was shooting light spells off. Uh, let, let's throw another damage health on you. You know what? Another one. We're just gonna drop you really as fast as we can. I mean, not as fast. Uh, come on. Po I was like, the poison should have done the trick by now. There we go. Wait, did you dodge that? Hey, get out of that bush! I can't see you when you're in the bush. You're the one who can't land a shot. You, you want to get tired? How about <laughs> I'm tempted to like throw a damage fatigue on? <laughs> oh, stop! There we go. My poisons took finally took effect. Um, last dagger. That's actually I'm like looking at the damage. I'm like that's better than. Ooh, arrow of fatigue. <gasps> If their dialogue of getting tired was tied to the fact that they were using enchanted arrows of fatigue, then I am delighted. I doubt that that's the case, but... Alright, let's, uh... Let's grab our arrows. Alright, uh, okay, I gotta make sure, what, what am I wearing? Elven boots, elven, uh, elven everything. Okay, I thought I, I... I needed to make sure I was wearing elven everything because... Um... I, I kept come I keep coming across it and I'm like I gotta make sure I'm not leaving upgrades on the ground like I did that earlier in the playthrough and uh, I was like oh I was beating myself up a little bit over over it for it whoa I got is that a minotaur that looks like a minotaur just walking along uh, the road congratulations you are illuminated
Wait, have we fought a Minotaur? Yeah, we, we fought a Minotaur before, right? Huh. This thing's got a lot of health, holy crap. I've, I've had to put like a lot of damage health healths on this one. Okay, there we go. That's probably overkill, honestly. Yeah, that's overkill. All right, that's it. You're done. I'll put one more arrow in you for good measure, but, uh... What, what are you doing, you dumb? No, don't fight hand-to-hand. -hand. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you, uh... Okay, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm better than I thought I was. Uh, what, what, what weapon was that? A Dwarven Warhammer. Hmm. All right, we're good. I don't, uh, I, I don't need to be carrying that around. I don't need to be over encumbered again. I just got un over encumbered. I have no desire to re over encumber myself. Another Minotaur? Holy crap. Okay. Can I sneak past this one? I'm like, I've got, a pl I've got places to be. I can't stop and fight every Minotaur I come across. That looked kind of cool. The the way, like, all the, the lights were going. <laughs> hey, dear, how's it going? Just, hey, oh, you're, you're riding along with me? Uh, okay, that's cool. Hey, bye, dear. The Inn of Ill Omen. It looks like there's an Oblivion Gate right next to the inn. Um... Yeah, you know, they would probably appreciate it if someone cleared that out. Unfortunately for them, I'm busy! Horn Cave. Okay, we just ran past the cave, I guess? Aw, that's disappointing. You cannot cast ranged spells underwater. That's interesting. Why not? Is it just because, like... Technically, the spell is coming into contact with the water. Is that is that the reasoning? But then that brings up the, like the next question, like, okay, well, what what makes it so that spells can travel through air, right? Like, why why can they travel through air but not through water? Uh, I like putting the, the illumination effect on people. Wait, what? The waterfront is crawling with Imperial Watch. They are all looking for Armon Kristoff. I'm sure he won't show at midnight. Daryloth's garden is too hot. I'll need to find out where he's hiding. Maybe one of the other Thieves Guild members knows. I'll have to start asking around for them? Um. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, who's another uh, Mages Guild member? Uh, um... What's her face? Um, the one that we were in the competition with. Like, she's... Did she make it in? Okay, I need to... I need to start asking. Okay, so, like... I guess the guard was, was like... They, 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 uh... They caught wind of where Armand would be. Well, that throws a, a wrench into things. Okay, abandoned shack. I can't remember. You're... Thank goodness I found you. I assume you know that Hieronymus Lex has issued an arrest warrant for Armand Kristoff. Uh, I do now. <gasps> Where is he? He is in hiding. Armand is accused of stealing the bust of Lathasa Indaris from Chaden Hall. They say Count Indaris himself filed the charges. Um, okay, so about that, what do I do with the bust? There never was a client that commissioned the guild to steal Lathasa's bust. Armand used you to flush out an informant that infiltrated the guild. Who's the informant? Methredhel. Mavrina Arano. Now Armand needs your help to neutralize her. You're going to pin the theft of the bust on Mavrina. She lives in the waterfront. 
Okay. Okay, I like where this is going. How? Plant the bust in her cupboard. Make sure she doesn't see you. Then go tell Hieronymus Lex that she is the thief. He probably won't believe you, so you may have to persuade him. Hopefully, you will at least go and check it out. Um, wait, if I recall correctly, me and him are not on great terms. He's captain of the Imperial Watch. He's pursuing a personal vendetta against the Thieves' Guild and the Grey Fox. I heard the Grey Fox personally humiliated Lex years ago when he tried to arrest Armand Christophe for theft. Lex has never forgotten it. Okay, um... I'm really curious what your trigger was. Is it anytime I go into any of these buildings, or were you, like, running at me for, uh, some, uh, were you outside somewhere and chasing after me, and then when I went through the door, you just happened to run on in? Shadow hide you. All right. All right. I, okay, I like it. I like it. There's a bit of a, a wrinkle to things. All right, where's the, um... Oh, the house is right nearby. Wait, is that, is that the, the captain? Yeah, that's him. He's right there. Okay, uh, I'm literally running around with all these, uh, these guards with the bust in my pockets. Okay, I gotta bust into her house. All right, here we go. Uh, I could have clicked there. Okay, calm, calm down. Just chill. Just chill. Just, just pick a lock. It's just any other lock. There we go. Oh, is she sleeping? Uh, is this the cupboard? Is the other one? What if I put it in a different one? Would it still register? These are drawers. Cupboard. No, it has to be the specific named one. All right. The bust is in, uh, me- oh. She even said the name, um, Mivrina's cupboard. Now to tell that windbag Lex where to find it. All right. Just walking around all casually, just- Don't mind me just walking around, looking really hot and stuff. Don't you love me? What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of an investigation? Really? So? You know, we got off on the ba r bad, wrong, first foot thing. I should have cast a spell on you after. But hey, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's make you like me first. Oh, yeah. I'll probably need to anyways to persuade you, right? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's try this. Sure, that's cute. Speechcraft skill increased and we're up to 76 with them. Hi, I know where the bust is. You know where the bust is hidden? Yes, best friend. Mivrina, Arano has it. I totally know. I, don't ask me how I know, I just, I just know. I'm psychic. Are you sure? That can't be right. She's my, I mean, she doesn't seem to be the type. <laughs> she's my, okay, there, there's the game. Just clearly giving you those hints of like, yep, she's the right one. He, what he meant to say was, she's my informant. Uh, it's in her cupboard. Like, how, how, how does this not sound incriminating to me, though? Like, he, he, he could easily piece this together, like, okay, how do you know it's exactly in her cupboard? You know, you, you gotta plant something. You gotta be like, I heard her saying something about grabbing it. You have, you can't tell, tell him exactly where it's at. You gotta, you, you gotta, you know, just put enough little, little, little clues in there, or little, um, drop little seeds, so that he goes and looks into it. You can't just be like, here, here, it's in the cupboard. I don't believe you, but I'll have to check it out anyway. If you are right, there will be hell to pay. You will have to come along. Yay. I have vanished. All right, let's go in. Hey, this what citizen are you doing? is accusing you. Of stealing the bust of Lathasa from Chaden Hall. I even found the bust in your cabinet. What do you have to say? Fool! You've just exposed me to the Thieves' Guild! 
that citizen is actually the guild member that was hired to do the theft. Regrettably, I have no further use for you. If what I heard is true, you are the thief. If what you say is true, the Grey Fox knows you are my informant. Either way, it's over. You didn't really think I'd trust the likes of you for very long. But I've been loyal to you. I've reported everything that Armand has done. You can't just toss me aside like a soiled cloth. Yes, I can. You were under arrest for the theft of the bust of Lathasa and Doris, Countess of Chadenhall. Come with me. Hieronymus Lex found the bust I planted. Now all I have to do is report to Armand. Unfortunately, I'll have to wait until the next midnight for him to return to the Garden of Daryloth. Sweet! Free house! <laughs> I mean, technically, right? I mean, might as well. She's not coming back. Um, I, I do kind of feel bad, honestly. In a way, because I'm like... The reason why, like, she got arrested and crap is ultimately because the guard sucks. Like, he doesn't actually care about facts, right? He's honestly just serving himself and he's like, well, um, I need to arrest someone and, um, I don't have any use for you and it's just convenient for me to, like, get rid of you, so... buh bye Um, so, like, as usual, Lex is scum. He sucks. Um, like, she still sucks for being an informant, but, like, the way that played out, it's like, oh, yeah, typ typical guard. All right, let's bust this uh, chest open and see what's inside. I did that one much better than the last one. Wow. That, okay. Not worth it. Well, I got, I got, I got, you know, I got some skill experience, so that made it worth it. Yes. Uh, all right, so that, again, it went in pl to places I was not expecting. This went in a completely different direction. Um... And uh, we didn't at all get into uh, what I was expecting to, to do. I mean, I should I should I should know that by now, right? The, the game just the game just eats time. It takes so much time to do like so much stuff because like there's one adventure after another after another after another. Um, and I'll have to wait until uh, next time for Armand. Wait, he's right there. I don't have to wait. He's right there. With your help. I uncovered the informant that had compromised the Thieves' Guild. I know I used you in this matter with the Lathasa's bust, but I couldn't be certain that you weren't working with Mivrina. Here is the reward you were promised. Even though the bust is gone, you've earned it. I'm also promoting you to the Guild rank of Bandit, which will let you use Darji of Leowin as your fence. Good work. Oh, sweet! Alright, I guess that's gonna be it for now. A hundred gold for all that?! All right, whatever, sure. Um, well, I guess we're done. We're, actually, this is a good stopping point. We're just going to stop right here. Shadow hide you. Shadow hide you. Um, so that's going to do it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time, we're going treasure hunting. We got no reason not to. We're going treasure hunting. We're going to go ahead and find that treasure with the treasure map. Uh, hey, if you're, uh, if you're not already a patron, then hey, you know, the patrons are probably already seeing that exciting adventure. You could go check it out for like a dollar. Get things early. Uh, that'd be, uh, eh, maybe, maybe, no. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I feel dirty. Uh, otherwise, next time, that's what we're doing. And until next time, I'd like to ask you all to uh, game on.